All right, Shalom Ahmadun. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rekha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect. This teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to tie this lesson the preservation. Because we already know throughout the scriptures, you know, it's written within and without lamentations, mourning, and woe. See, how by Shem Al-Shah promised destruction and trouble to come upon this place, but also the Lord promised on um, deliverance and salvation and preservation, man. You know, because the elect, you know, is going to be in the midst of these troubles and things, but they're going to be preserved, you know, despite the outside elements, man. So, matter of fact, let's start off with this in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 16. And get to the bottom of St. Matthew 16 and 28. It says, Verily I say unto you, There be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. See? So, and that was actually meant for this generation right here, man. Because this is the, this is the generation where, where uh, our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to return, man. This is going to be that generation. It's going to be particular spirits, you know, that's on the planet Earth that is, that is destined, you know, to see the salvation of our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. So that means, you know, uh, you have to get through the build up. Pretty much is Jacob's trouble. During, you know, to get through all these these uh, uh, that that hour of temptation, you have to be preserved from that because that's a time of wrath, man. So that means uh, we uh, mercy has to be bestowed upon us, man. You know, but that's promised. That's promised to the elect. So they're going to be preserved, you know, to see the salvation of, of Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, this is Revelation three. And 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. See? So, meaning what? We're actually going to be in the midst of these things, but we're going to be kept from it. You know, in the midst of a famine, we're going to be able to eat. You know, if you uh, get jammed up and get thrown to these different concentration camps, the Lord's going to deliver us from these things. You know, He's going to keep us from the trouble, man. And ultimately, even putting the spirit on us to uh, to 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 uh, reject that 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 mark of the beast, which is the chip, he's gonna keep us from all these things. It says, uh, "I will, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon earth." See, so the Lord is gonna keep us from these things that's about to come abroad. We have to be preserved. It's not like, you know, uh, we're going to be in a, uh, you know, standing afar off in a cave while you're looking at chaos. No, we're going to actually be in the midst of these things, but we're going to be preserved. Matter of fact, uh, this is the book of 2 uh, Ezra 9. 2 Ezra 9 and verse 7. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able, and shall be able to escape, see, so that lets you know the ones that's going to be saved are the ones that's going to escape these different things. You know, it's not like we, we all got to figure it out. You got enough rice and beans to the chariots calling. No, man. You know, it's going to be chaos. It's going to be mayhem, man. When you how by some outside, it's going to, uh, that's when that standard is going to be lifted. That's when divine intervention is going to come into play, man. You know, because that's what it's going to have to take in in the times to come, man. It's going to have to take divine intervention. You ain't going to have no trust but the trust in Yahweh by the Shema was shot in that day, man. Because that's going to be the only way out. You know? So it says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, see, and by faith, whereby ye have believed, see, shall be preserved from the said peril, see. So who, the one who's saying it, you know? Which is the prophets speaking upon these things, speaking these things into existence, man. You know? And it says said perils. 
meaning the said troubles, the said, the said uh, troublesome times, the said evils, man. You know, you're gonna be, we're gonna be preserved from these things, man. And so, and shall see my salvation in my land. See, so you're gonna ask, who asked to gonna, uh, Lord, what I'm part of that number, man? Be preserved to see the salvation, to see the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, it tells you, he just read <coughs> in Matthew 16 that the psalm that was in that council, in that hearing, that was not going to taste death, man. You know, so meaning what? The Lord is going to uh, feed you through the family. The Lord is going to, uh, you know, preserve you and keep you from this man and his military, from these pestilence, you know, from the um, beasts of the field. Oh, that's why I tell you also that uh, we're going to be in league with the beasts of the field because the, the animals are going to change their place. And it's also newly created creatures, man. So we need y'all by some outside, man. That's why that word preserved there. You know, despite the outside elements, you're being uh, preserved. It says... um. It says, shall, uh, uh, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And that's, that's, that's the elect, man, the one that was predestined for the foundations of the earth, man. You know, but the point is, is that uh, we need, we, we, you know, in that time to come, it's going to have to take the, the divine intervention, you know. Because, like I said, as the Lord promised destruction, somebody actually got to uh, go through this. So when the Lord said a famine is going to happen, somebody got to actually die from hunger. You know, they actually got to die from the, for the lack of food, you know, the lack of bread and water, man. That actually had to happen. You know, the sword, the pestilence, the teeth of the wild beast. Somebody got to actually play that role. But also on the other end, you know, Lord Yahweh Bashem Al Shai promised preservation. He promised deliverance, salvation. Somebody got to play that part as well, man. You know? So this is the book of Job. Job chapter 5. And verse. Oh, it's like him. That's Isaiah. Job 5. And verse 19. It said, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. See, in those six troubles, what? The times of trouble, man. The times of Jacob's trouble, man. When all hell break loose. When there, when the scripture said, when there's sorrows upon on every side. You know, the Lord's going to deliver us from these things. And it said, in the seventh, that's when the, the complete destruction, when when, it's, when America is, is, uh, is ultimately totally destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles, when the Lord is going to pluck us up uh, from that, man. Actually going to be plucked up literally out of America. You know, being them to those those so-called UFOs, which are the terriers, man. That cloud tells you when it's uh, caught up in a cloud, man. You know? But it says he's going to do it. Yahweh Hashem was shot. You know? So it's, that is going to be divine intervention, man. But as you can see, we're going to be delivered from those six troubles and the seven, no evil. So you're going to be preserved from those said perils, those said evils. It said, in famine he shall redeem thee from death. See? Meaning what? You're going to eat. Meaning you're going to eat, man. It's, and matter of fact, let's get something real quick. Because the famine is one of those plays the Lord continue to talk about. That's one of his favorite creations. That's why that uh, famine is constantly talked about. You know, when it's dealing, when coming, when it's going down to judgment, harsh judgment, the Lord always throw that famine in there. That's one of his favorite creations, man. You know, let's see, this is the book of, uh, bear with me. This is the book of Psalm 37. Yep. And verse 18, it said, The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. See, so as you can see, that the Lord is uh, looking upon the upright, man. You know? That's who Yahweh by Shemal Shai uh, care for, man. His elect, man. And it's not just the upright because you, you know, 
you, you upright in heart. That's that's what the Lord looking at. I said he he uh he know the days of the upright. He says they shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Meaning what? When you ashamed in the evil time by you starving and death, you being getting tore up by some uh like I said you getting ate up by some dogs, or you uh uh, uh dying out of pestilence. Pretty much the death dying the death of an infidel man. You know. You're not being ashamed of the evil time. It says, it says, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. See? So, meaning what? <clears throat> you're not even going it, it, to, it, when you saying you satisfy, meaning what? you full. It's not going to be just rations. You're actually going to eat, man. You're actually going to be satisfied. You're going to actually be full. Hey, that happened in the days of, uh, I believe that was uh, Alicia. <clears throat> when they uh, they fed them hundred men, they they was they was full man, you know. How was feeding feeding the most that multitude man? They was full man, you know. And the same thing is gonna happen in this time, in in the times of trouble, in that time of famine, we're gonna be satisfied, you know. So matter of fact, let's go back. But that's all being preserved, cause it just, it just pointed out. In the evil times, you're not going to be ashamed. So that's a separation. So that means the evil time didn't affect you, so to speak. Even though we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have our, our uh, you know, our walk. We're going to have to have that certain that hour where the spotlight going to be on us, you know. But y'all by some is going to is going to uh, help us, and uh, he, he's not going to lightly regard us. He's going to uh, uh, put the spirit on us today on in that time, man. You know? So let's go back to Job 5. And um, verse 20 again said, He shall, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. See? So even you getting a damn letter saying you got drafted, the Lord going to deliver you from that. You know? From these race wars, from the civil war, from the from that FEMA kill list. The Lord is going to deliver us from all these things, man. You know? But it first it start out by believing. That's why it was just read in um sick as the night trying to tell you by and by uh, uh works, you know, and by faith whereby ye have believed. You know? So you gotta believe, you can believe that these times are coming, there's troublesome times, but you gotta also believe that the Lord is gonna get you out of this situation. Cause even though we gotta get our mind prepared for, you know, motherfuckers getting their hair blown off in your face or Anything, because it tells you that it's a day like no other, man. You ain't going to be able to compare this time period to no other time period. But also, we got to get prepared for these miracles as well. For things, the unexplainable things that how about Shema is about to do, man. So we got to get prepared for that as well, man. You know, it says, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. See, that persecution, man. It says, neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. It says, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. See, so I mean, we're going to be in the midst of these things. But the Lord going to put a spirit in the world. We're actually going to laugh. It tells you we're going to laugh at the calamity of these people, man. When they're, when they're being troubled, you know, when that anguish coming upon them, we're going to laugh, man. You know? It says, uh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. See, so many what? If we're going to actually be in the midst of these things, say the wild beast is going to change their place. You think it's just a, just a few straggly dogs here and that. You know, you're going to actually see zoo animals being loosened. You know, roaming the streets. You know, you're going to have these newly created creatures. It tells you that they shoot uh, sparks out of their eyes. They got, they got that filthy stench. You know? We're gonna we're gonna actually be in league with them, but, but that actually lets you know you you have to be afraid of them as well, man. You was in the midst. You actually seen a lion running upon you, you know. But it was it made it, it made a covenant with you, man. But that lets you know it was your how by Shimmy I was shy, you know, uh, 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 preserving you, man. It says, uh, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. See? So that lets you know, man, it, it, you're going to be in the midst of that. 
you know. You actually going to be in the midst of these things, but it's actually going to be a preservation. So it's going to be divine intervention, man. You know? Matter of fact, it says, And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace. See that house of David. See that that, that this pavilion, this this shadow of the Almighty, this truth is a, is is a, is that tower, man. That strong tower, man. You know, this is our shield. This is our help. You know? But we enter into this house, we're gonna know then that this is that this is that way of peace. Oh, it tells you that the ones that walk according to this rule, those are the ones that are gonna receive peace and mercy, man. You know? <clears throat> it says, And and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shalt not sin, see? So matter of fact, let's get something real quick. This is the book of uh Psalms 121. Psalms 121 and the Psalm 121 and verse 7. It says, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. See? Yahweh is going to preserve us. Like I said, he, he promised evil, but he promised uh, preservation also from that evil. Man. Somebody got to die of the famine. But somebody also got to be redeemed from it as well, man. You know? It says, He shall preserve thy soul. See? The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. And this is the time where this mercy is going to... Um, matter of fact, let's get that in the book of uh, 2nd Ezra 14. Because this is the time where this is, you know... Uh, Yeah, this is 2nd Ezra 14, and I started at 34. It said, Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts. See, meaning what? Uh, throw, throw out everything that you thought you knew. And it said, and, and reform your hearts, meaning what? Being transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. Repenting and coming back to the ways of your Bashem al Shah. It said, Ye shall be kept alive, and after death ye shall obtain mercy. See? So this is that this is that time where we're gonna actually obtain mercy by the way of when all hell break loose and us seeing the salvation of Yahweh Shah, man. Seeing, you know, uh witnessing these uh plagues, you know, and being preserved from it, man. You know? But it said we're gonna be kept alive, man. You know? So this is the time right here where this is the, this is that generation where uh Pretty much, uh, this time right here is particular spirit, certain spirits on planet Earth that's actually not going to taste of death. Want to be preserved, man. You know. So yeah, I, I just hope to be edified. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yom Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Let it give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone, Lady C, Shalom, to the elect, the teachers of the word, and the true faith, sincerity, DTA, a Bible ball.